Okay, um, lead code practice time. So, still two things. So the first one is to find the approach for this problem. And the other thing is to see how to solve this problem in a proper way in the coding interview. So let's take a look at the question to sum. So given an array of the integers, nums, and the integer target, return the indices of two numbers such that they add up to target. And you may assume that each input would have exactly one solution, and you may not use the same element twice. And you can return the answer in any other. So first thing first is to clarify the ambiguities uh, and think about the ash cases. So the first one, is always say, always to ask uh, questions to clarify and uh, think about the ash cases. So for this one, uh, it is well it is very well defined. But uh, if the conditions highlighted here is not given, um, please ask questions um, because there are very good questions to discuss with the interviewer. So like, what if, what if there is more than one solution or no solution at all for a given input? Uh, is it okay to use the same element twice? Um, and uh, how to return the return value? Is there any other uh, we need to follow? So those are very good questions. So after we clarify the ambiguities uh, and uh, we have finished thinking about the edge cases uh, that can potentially happen. Um, it is a time for us to think about the solution. So the second one is to think about solution. So during this time, uh, it is always recommended to think aloud. Uh, but if you prefer to think silently, please indicate with your interviewer, like, uh, please give me several minutes to think. Um, so that's that's also fine. So there is no um, hard regulation uh, how you think, but uh, I would recommend you to think aloud, even if it is not perfect at this moment, even if it is just a brute force solution. So feel free to talk aloud, uh, because at least you will have a workable approach uh, at that time. And also during the time you talk with your interviewer, if it is too hard to explain the approach in English, you can feel free to use uh, uh, some other ways. So for example, you can go through an example to explain how your approach is going to work on it. Or you can draw some graph uh, if it's easy for you to draw something there. Um, so how to solve this problem? Um, so the proof of solution we can see is we can do a for loop within another for loop to traverse the input array. Then it is going to have uh, n square as a time complexity and uh, constant as a space complexity. It's not good because runtime is too long. So think about how to optimize it. Uh, we can use a hash map. Uh, so we can keep record of the numbers we iterate uh, from the input array in the hash map. Uh, and when we look at the number uh, we are iterating in the input array, we see whether there is a number within the hash map that has a value as target minus the number from the input array you're currently looking at. If yes, that's pretty much the solution you're looking at. Otherwise, you just keep uh, going through the input array until you find the final solution. So um, now we have the solution ready here. And it's time for us to do some coding. So for coding, so for coding part, we need to care about our code correctness. Um, and your code readability. So it's so so both are very important during a coding interview because if you don't have the correct code, then um, like you don't think about some edge cases, and then um, 
it will be a red flag during a coding interview if your code uh, doesn't look very good. So for example, the naming convention is not very good uh, or it, like the formatting is not very good, then it may also hurt. Um, so let's uh, write some code for this question. So first of all, um, we need to have a hash map. Let's call it value index map. Hash map. Um, now we need to go through the input array. Because we need to use index, so we will use the index based uh, traversing. So i is equal to zero, i is smaller than i minus, uh, is smaller than num.lens plus plus i. So, um, so first is to check whether there is a value um, in the hash map, which is target minus uh, nums i. So we can say, uh, we had defined a remain value as a local variable as target minus nums i uh, and uh, if we already have it in the value index map uh, then that's the solution we are going to return so now we are going to return the the solution, which is first element is i, and the second one is value index map dot get. Otherwise, uh, we are we are going to put the current element into the value index map, and then continue to put uh, nums i as key and i as value. So now it's pretty much uh, finished, but since um, Java is going to give us some compile error if we don't return something here, um, so we are going to return something here. Um, so let's say we return a minus one minus one at the end. So that's pretty much it for this code. Um, after your code complete and uh, you're pretty confident, please talk with your interviewer because the nice part is about testing. So how to test this? Uh, usually uh, you choose a simple input example, go through it and explain how it works on this piece of code. So let's say we use 271115, which is the first example given uh, by this website, target as nine. So let's say, first of all, we initialize a uh, empty hash map. When i is equal to zero, then target minus nums i is nine minus two, which is seven. And since the uh, the map is empty at this moment, uh, we are not going to touch this if branch. We are going to put two as a key and uh, zero as a value into this uh, hash map. And when i is equal to one, then uh, target minus nums i is nine minus seven, which is two. So two already exists in the value index map. So we are going to return one and zero as a final solution. So it works for this given input. Um, so the so after doing some sanity check by going through this manually, uh, we need to think about some other test cases to increase the test coverage. So like this one, uh, we can say example three is a pretty good a good uh, input case because it has two numbers and they are exactly the same. Um, otherwise, I cannot think of uh, some other ta fancy test cases out of the top of my head that is helpful for the test coverage. So let's give it a shot by running this code. Okay, so that's it for this coding question. I hope you enjoy this video and find it a little bit helpful. So if you like it, please like and uh, share with other people and also give me a thumb up um, and I'll see you in the next video.